Chris, first defeat of the season in the county championship, uh, Leicestershire winning by four wickets, just your re overall reflections on the game and the Essex performance? Well, I mean, obviously disappointing to lose. Um, any loss is disappointing, but obviously, you know, when we've played so well in this format to actually come unstuck like we did was it, very disappointing. I mean, the whole the mood in the dressing room is, is reflecting that. Um, I would say, if I'm perfectly honest, in all three departments, we came up second best this game. Um, there's certainly food for thought. You know, I mean, a lot of reflection. I've just asked the boys to, to go away and reflect on their individual performance. Um, preparation as well, you know what I mean? We have to look at that and make sure that we're still doing the right things and uh, I mean, continue to try and drive the, fo uh, the team forward, really. You know I mean? We can't afford to stand still and we've got to come back you know I mean, bigger, faster and stronger from this defeat, which means working hard. Yeah, indeed, and it's uh, the setback has given those uh, chasing pack uh, an opportunity to close the gap, keeps the pressure on us. But, um, you know, if you're top of the table, you're going to get there to be shot at, aren't you? You are, and it's, you know, I mean, at the same time, Sometimes you need a bit of a kick up the bum as well to just let you know, listen, you're still human, you've got to work hard and you've got to keep an eye on what's going on. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, we'd be happy to be in this position sort of the start of the year, but still very disappointing to have this sort of result, really. You know I mean, so as I've said, we've got to reflect on it and, and get better. You mentioned about being outperformed in all disciplines and it really started on that first morning, didn't it, when Leicestershire uh, decided to, to put us in. Um, probably 30 or 40 runs short of what even at that stage you would have wanted and they gave us a lesson in discipline bowling didn't they? Yeah I think they did I think you've hit the nail on the head you know, I mean we were probably you know, yeah, 30 runs we, we thought probably 320 would have been a, an acceptable score on there and you know what I mean unfortunately again we, we've seen that we had one bad session with a ball and it's cost us and you know what I mean if we reflect on the bowling that's something that we've got to stop you know, we've got to work hard on that and the, the boys have got to start you know, I mean, hitting the, hitting the straps running and, and using that new ball to a better effect. And as you say, you know, I mean, even today, you know, I mean, you watch their boys running, they're bowled in good areas. And we knew that, you know, you get enough balls in and around off stump on a good length. It was, life was very difficult and we saw that. And they did but give us a lesson in how to bowl straight. Indeed. Uh, next two games coming up, 2020s and uh, again, a uh, situation which you want that dressing room to address, isn't it? A poor run of form we've had in that. Uh, well, we've really, on paper, looked a better side than those results show. You want us to show now that uh, out there we are that better side? Yeah, we have. I mean, I mean, you can look at a team sheet and go, well, they're a good side, but actually it doesn't matter. You know, I mean, the... The, the sides make the reputation on the pitch by winning and putting in good performances and that's what we've got to do now we've got to come back as a game I mean I sound a bit like a broken record but we've got to get stronger and we've got to work hard and we've got to work his way through this and to do that we've got to do all the right things and make sure that we are you know I mean prepping well and uh, making sure we go in the game with the right attitude. Indeed. Good luck to that. Thanks for your time. Chris. Thanks Paul. Cheers.